Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am at New Market and we are going to do the modified G drive test route for 2022. Now there are multiple options. The one route is where they will take us south on highway 404 towards Aurora and this route is approximately 15 to 16 kilometers which is the longest route but before that we are going to do the most common route which is northbound on highway 404. which takes us towards uh, you could say somewhere towards uh, barry and the easiest route i would say and it is approximately 10 kilometers there is another route towards northbound where rather than going from harry walker parkway we take lesley street so i will cover that small patch in between now let's get started Now we are going to take a right turn and then a left turn on this street which is Harry pa Walker Parkway street so there's a stop sign stop for 3 seconds then look left and right when the road is clear then proceed in the left direction the speed limit on Harry Walker Parkway street is 50 km per hour so reach the speed as soon as possible and then maintain the speed try to drive in the middle of the lane not much towards the right or towards the left before moving forward on green light always look left and right for pedestrian and traffic now we are going straight on high harry walker parkway street make sure you check every intersection that you are crossing so always look at the intersection for traffic after every 10 to 15 second always check your back mirrors the left and center and the right back mirror maintain the speed limit and drive in the middle of the lane if you see this road is a little uphill and downhill so make sure you maintain the speed limit of 50 km per hour now the examiner will ask us to move to the right lane because we are turning right from here make sure you check your mirror and blind spot and also give your signal maintain a safe distance such that you can see the tire and the pavement of car ahead of you if there is a green signal then proceed by checking the pedestrian on the davis drive the speed limit is 80 km per hour so please reach the speed limit at the earliest and maintain your speed limit Now after this signal examiner will ask us to take to the right lane as we are turning towards highway 404 north The speed limit on the curve is 30 km per hour so make sure you brake your car and reach 30 km per hour while you are on the curve Maintain your speed limit at 30 km per hour drive in the middle of the lane do not cut any solid line and now start accelerating the speed on highway 404 north is 110 km per hour so accelerate as much as possible as early as possible and try to use at least 70 to 80% of the ramp before merging onto the highway lane now examiner will straight away ask us to change the lane when it is safe to do so so give signal check your mirror and blind spot and change the lane and then examiner will ask us again to move back to the right lane so again do the same thing give your signal check your mirror and blind spot 
try to maintain a safe distance from the car driving in front of you and drive at the speed limit that is 110 km per hour. And now examiner will ask us to change the lane to the right because we are turning right and exiting the highway. So whenever you are changing lane, make sure you give signal, check your mirror, blind spot and then turn off the signal. And now we are going to take a left turn from the second lane. So we are going to turn from the second lane and we are going to turn into the second lane because immediately after that we have to take a right turn and merge back on the highway. So drive in the middle of the lane and maintain the speed limit and also the safe distance. So when you are stopping behind any car, make sure you see the tire and the road. Maintain safe distance from the second lane, turn into the second lane and maintain your speed. Immediately after turning on the left, the examiner will ask us to merge onto the right lane. So give the right signal. Check your mirror blind spot and merge to the right lane. Now the speed limit on the curve is 30 km per hour. So make sure you deaccelerate or brake your car to 30 km per hour and then maintain that speed limit. Drive in the middle of the lane and do not cut any solid line towards right side or towards left side. As the road straightens up, start accelerating your car. Remember. The speed limit on the highway 404 on this patch is 110 km per hour. So accelerate as soon as possible and then merge onto the left lane. While merging, give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. Now we are going back towards drive test center. Examiner may ask us to change the lane one more time towards the left or otherwise after some time examiner will ask us to change the lane towards right because we are going to take the next exit towards new market. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you. Always check all three mirrors after every 10 to 15 seconds. Now we are exiting towards Davis Drive. Keep your car in the rightmost lane as we are turning right from Davis Drive. Now merge to the right lane as we are turning right towards Davis Drive. If the signal is red, then consider it as a stop sign and wait for 3 seconds and then start looking for any traffic. If there is any oncoming traffic, wait else proceed with caution. The speed limit on Davis Drive is 60 km per hour. Drive in the second lane. After crossing Harry Walker Parkway South, the examiner will ask us to merge to the left lane. After crossing this signal, the examiner will ask us to merge onto the left lane. Make sure you merge when there is a dotted line and do not merge when there is a solid line. Turn left when the signal turns green. So if you have a advanced left then 
there is no oncoming traffic from the front or there are no pedestrian so you could quickly take a left turn and now change the lane to the right because we do not drive in the passing lane after some time the examiner may ask us to change lane back to the left because after some time we will be turning left but do not change the lane by yourself wait for the examiner to guide you make sure whenever you cross any intersection you check oncoming traffic make sure you drive at a safe distance in the middle of the lane and you maintain the speed limit always check all three mirrors back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds and now examiner will ask us to merge to the left lane signal mirror and blind spot and then from the next signal examiner will ask us to merge to the left lane because we are turning left on gorham street when the signal turns green then make sure that you wait for the oncoming traffic because we do not have a advanced left signal once the traffic clears then you could proceed with caution wait for the gap in between the traffic before proceeding If the signal turns yellow then complete the turn because you have to clear the intersection by the time the traffic light turns red Now the speed limit on Gorham street is 50 kilometers per hour Check all intersections and check all your mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds drive in the middle of the lane and not towards to right or to left and now examiner will ask us to keep in the right lane as we are turning right towards harry walker parkway south towards our drive test center if it is a red light consider it as a stop sign and look for oncoming traffic take a turn when there are no traffic speed limit on harry walker parkway south is 50 km per hour maintain the speed limit and now examiner will ask us to take a right turn towards drive test center parking drive safely because there are too many cars and pedestrian around and then examiner will ask us to park in the right side parking so there is no back parking parallel parking three side stop right now for g test this is the second northbound route where examiner takes us from lesley street and not from the harry walker parkway south so almost 20 to 30% examiner choose this route now we have to turn left on gorham street wait for the intersection to clear and then make a left turn the speed limit on gorham street is 50 km per hour maintain your speed limit and also maintain safe distance from the parked vehicles the definition of safe distance is at least 1 meter 
that is 3 feet. Try to drive in the middle of the lane. Check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds and also check intersections. Now from the red light examiner will ask us to turn right. So take the right lane by giving signal, checking your mirror and blind spot. Consider red light as a stop sign and then wait for 3 seconds checking for oncoming traffic and then merging when it is safe to do so. The speed limit on Leslie Street is 60 km per hour. The examiner may ask us to change the lane once. Check for pedestrian and any oncoming traffic before proceeding on to the green light. Reach 60 km per hour at the earliest as the speed limit on Leslie Street is 60 km per hour. Check left, right and central back mirror every 10 to 15 seconds. Always check the intersection that you are crossing for oncoming traffic or emergency vehicles. Now examiner will ask us to keep the right lane as we are going to turn right from this signal towards Davis Drive. The speed limit on Davis Drive at this time is 60 km per hour. Wait for traffic to clear on the last lane and then merge onto the lane. Speed limit is 60 km per hour. Check left right on the intersection before proceeding or crossing any intersection. And now we are going to go straight on Davis Drive until we take a right turn on the highway 404 North as we have done in the first route. So I will stop this video now. And now we are going to do the third route where we will go south on highway 404 towards Aurora. This is the biggest route and I have seen 2-3 to three cars going in this direction that is approximately 10-15% to 15 of the traffic. Now we are at the stop sign just in front of drive test center so wait for 3 seconds and then proceed when there is no traffic. Wait for all the traffic to clear before proceeding further. Now we are at Harry Walker Parkway South. The speed limit on Harry Walker Parkway South is 50 km per hour. Maintain the speed limit and then check all three mirrors, left, right and central back mirror every 10 to 15 seconds. Now we are going to turn left so examiner will ask us to take the left lane towards Gorham Street. If the signal is green then proceed to the middle of the intersection and then wait for your turn. When, the, when there is no traffic then clear the intersection or turn left. 
speed limit on Gorham Street is 50 km per hour. Drive in the middle of the lane by maintaining safe distance from the parked car that is approximately 1 meter or 3 feet. Drive in the middle of the lane at 50 km per hour. The road is little uphill so make sure you maintain the speed limit. Now from the ahead signal, examiner will ask us to take a left turn. So examiner will ask us to merge onto the left lane towards Leslie Street. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you such that you can see the tire and the road. Always check oncoming traffic before turning or crossing the intersection. In advanced left signal, there is no oncoming traffic or no pedestrian, so do not stop. The speed limit on Leslie Street is 60 km per hour, so reach the speed limit and then merge onto the right lane because we do not drive in the passing or overtaking lane. The examiner will ask us to move back to the left lane because we are turning left in some time. Maintain safe distance and drive at the speed limit. Right now it is a little downhill so make sure you do not drive over speed. And now examiner will ask us to take the left lane. So make sure you move to the left lane after the yellow line changes to the white dotted lines. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you such that you can see road and the tire. Always check the intersection for oncoming traffic wherever turning. When it is advanced signal then no need to stop for oncoming traffic or pedestrian as there are none. Change the lane to the right because we do not drive in the overtaking lane. Now we are at Mulock Drive and the speed limit is 60 km per hour. Maintain safe distance and always check all intersections. Always check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Now we are going to turn towards Highway 404 South towards Toronto or Aurora. Now the examiner will ask us to take the right lane as we are turning right. So give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. The speed limit on the curve is 60 km per hour. So make sure you drive on the same speed on the curve and then accelerate to 110 km per hour because the highway 404 speed on this patch is 110 km per hour. So now start accelerating your car from 60 km per hour to 110 km per hour. It is a big ramp so accelerate up to 110 and then merge onto the left lane because this lane will close soon. Before merging always give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. And now examiner will ask us to change the lane to the left. So give signal, check your mirror and blind spot and do that when it is safe to do so. As this truck is driving at almost 90 to 95 km per hour, so I decided to overtake the truck. And then the examiner will ask us to move back to the right lane because we do not drive in the passing lane.
look for the board on the right side because the speed limit is now changing from 110 to 100 kilometers per hour. And now at this moment, the speed limit has changed from 110 to 100 kilometers per hour. So make sure you deaccelerate or brake your car to 100 kilometers per hour. And now examiner will ask us to move to the right lane as we are leaving the highway. Now we are going to turn left from the second lane because immediately after that we are going to take a right. Now we are going to take left on Wellington Street East. Now no need to worry about the speed limit on Wellington Street because immediately after taking the left turn, we are going to take the right turn. So examiner will ask us to move on to the right lane because we are again going on to the highway. The speed limit on the curve is 30 km per hour. Make sure you drive in the middle of the lane and do not cut any solid line on both sides. Drive 30 km per hour and do not cut any lanes. As the highway starts to straighten up, now start accelerating your car to 100 km per hour. Try to use at least 70 to 80 percent of the acceleration ramp before merging onto the highway lane. Now again examiner may ask us to make a lane change to the left and then back to the right. Make sure while changing lane you maintain your speed limit, give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. Generally check your mirror every 10 to 15 seconds. And now the speed limit is changing to 110 km per hour. So make sure you accelerate your car from 100 km per hour to 110 km per hour. Maintain safe distance from the car in front of you. Drive on the speed limit of 110 km per hour and always check your all three back mirrors in 10 to 15 seconds. Maintain safe distance and check your mirror every 10 to 15 seconds. Drive at a speed limit of 110 km per hour. Now examiner will ask us to merge onto the right lane because we are turning left on Mulock Drive. Now we can turn from first lane or second lane, but it is preferred to turn from the second lane. The speed limit on the curve is 70 km per hour. So make sure you deaccelerate from 100 km per hour to 70 km per hour. And then based on the traffic in front of you, drive on that particular speed. If the signal is red, then stop at a safe distance such that you can see tire and road.
from second lane turned on to the second lane on Mulock Drive. The speed limit on Mulock Drive is 60 km per hour. Proceed straight on Mulock Drive. Always check all intersections while crossing them. Speed limit on Mulock Drive is still 60 km per hour. Drive at safe distance and always check your mirror every 10 to 15 seconds. Now the examiner will ask us to move to the right lane as we are turning right from Leslie Street. Always give signal, check your mirror and blind spot while changing lanes or turning. If it is a red light, then consider it as a stop sign and then wait for 3 seconds before turning. The speed limit on Leslie Street is 60 km per hour and always drive in the second lane. Do not drive in the first lane which is the overtaking or the passing lane. Examiner may ask us again to do a lane change to the left if needed. Make sure you check all intersections, look back in the mirror every 10 to 15 seconds and drive at a safe distance. In new market, roads are a little on slant, little uphill and downhill, so make sure you maintain the speed limit. Always check left, right, left while crossing any intersection. If you have to proceed on yellow signal and uh, there was no time to stop, you could say to the examiner that it was not safe to stop, so I decided to proceed. Now from this signal, examiner will ask us to turn right towards Stackhouse Road. Now as the signal was turning red and there was a car coming in front of me, so I decided to stop and let the car pass. The speed limit on Stackhouse Road is 50 km per hour. Drive in the middle of the lane and maintain the speed limit. And now from Harry Walker Parkway South, examiner will ask us to turn right. Here is a stop sign only for us. So we have to stop and wait for 3 seconds and then proceed when there is no traffic. If there is any traffic, let the traffic pass first. So the speed limit on Harry Walker Parkway South is 50 km per hour. So reach the speed, maintain the speed and drive at a safe distance from the car in front of you. Check the intersection before proceeding further.
and now the examiner will ask us to turn right towards the drive test center parking. Make sure you give signal, check mirror and blind spot for cyclists or pedestrians. And now examiner will ask us to park in any lane on the right. 